Hello YouTube, it's Chester Boyer, and today we take a look at the DX Victory Leon from Machine Robo Mugenbein. This is the first DX scale um, Mugenbein figure in the Mugenbein series line. So, let's get started. So here's the Mugenroid. Um, now according to Wikipedia, this guy is an upgraded version of Air Leon. So, here's Air Leon, here's Victory Leon side by side. Um, now this guy's a little special. Because this guy has translucent blue plastic. Or I think it's kind of a dark blue plastic. Um, that's right. He's got dark blue plastic. So, yeah. Pretty neat. Um, interesting. So he's got the V on top. Of course, he's got V on the side. Um, because we got the neon red, we got gold, and we got the blue and silver. And yeah, pretty neat. Um, articulation, arms swivel wire around, the legs can go forward and backward, and go out to the side. There's a knee joint, and uh, yeah, so that's that. Put them off to the side, and you can see I got all the parts of Victory Leon in um, in a V formation, so because why not? So, so I'll start with these parts right here, which look like ramps. Uh, so we got little Mugenbein logos under here, and we got the big, we got some big Mugenbein um, symbols down below. And we got these pieces with three wheels on each of them. Again, having a, of course they do combine together, which we'll get into that later. So we got little Mugenbein stickers on them. And we got this piece in the middle. We've got like two cans, we got like a little canopy piece or cockpit. And of course we got a head underneath it, which again we'll get to that later. We got these two pieces that look that look like legs. So we got some nice silver paint on them. Of course we got the stickers back here. We got MR Mugabine MMV on each one of them. So that's that. We got this piece right here, which looks like a canopy. Of a uh, machine of the machine mode, we got an MR moving by an MM V on there. Here's the other piece, which does look like an, now. This does look like an animal head if you look at it hard enough. Like these are the eyes, these are like the teeth and stuff like that. So, and of course, there's two stickers on here. We got this, we got the sticker says moving by on there and below. Actually, there's three this one. This one and this one, which says which has a lion head with a V, and it says Victory Leon on the bottom. So, yeah, that's that. And we got these last two pieces, which look like big legs. And as you can see, there is the site www.mr.club.jp. Now, if you if you try and visit this site, it's not going to work because it's you know the, since the domain is gone. But you can actually look this up via the internet. Um, archive or wait the Wayback Machine, and it actually does work with with that. So, and of course, here's the two big Mugenbein symbols on there, and we got these two little Mugenbein stickers on there. So, yeah, pretty neat. So, we're gonna start with Animal Mode. All right, so we're gonna take a look at Victory Leon's Animal Mode. So, fold down the head, fold in the arms, and take the knees and bend them like this. And make sure it looks like this. Because that's because we're gonna, need, we're gonna take this piece right here, flip down this panel, flip, flip up the big lion head, and make sure you close it up. You're gonna take this and you're gonna plug it onto the front like this. So just like that. Now we're now we're gonna bring the where become the front legs of the animal mode. So just like that. And then you're gonna take this big piece right here. And you're gonna flip it, and you're gonna put it onto the back like this. So just like that. And then you're gonna take these two pieces, and one of them has a peg you have to flip out. So just like that, which is again this one. Bring them together, and you're gonna plug them onto the back like this. So this becomes like the main body of the lion mode. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug these pieces on, and I'll use this one. You're gonna plug it 
into these two sockets like this. And make sure the, the this gray, this little um, dark gray bit is facing out. So, just like that. So, so just like that. <clears throat> now, oh, <clears throat> one more step about this Moomer thing. Make sure you flip out these, these pegs down. That's because we're going to take this little cannon piece and because you're gonna take this can of piece right here and you're gonna plug them in like this. So just like that. <clears throat> and, then take, and then take these two big gray pieces. You're gonna flip them upside down like <clears throat> flip them upside down like this. And plug this one on the other side and plug them on this side. <clears throat> Sorry to clear my throat, but it's okay. I'm okay. And there you have Victory Leon in animal mode. Again, very cool. Um, <clears throat> pretty big line mode, I'll say. And it kind of makes sense because, you know, this is a deluxe scale um, Mugenbine figure. It's quite big. So, yeah. So articulation. Um, the mouth open and closes. Now, the legs can't go forward because of the way it attaches. Um, but the back legs don't move as well. Well, the only thing, well, the only thing you can pose are just these front, the back paws. So that's pretty much the only thing you can move. That's pretty much well. I don't know if this could this could be considered as posability, but so the only thing you can pose is just the mouth, really. That's it. Um. Now, speaking of Victory Leon, I, you know, since, he, since according to the Wikipedia page, he's an upgrade to to Air Leon. I think of this guy as Air Leon's father. Yeah, kind of like a Simba and Mufasa type of thing. So, yeah, father and son type of thing. So, I like, I like to call this guy, like, Aelion's father. So, yeah. So, that's it for the uh, that's for the animal mode. Now we're going to take a look at Victory Leon's base mode and machine mode. And you can see this guy becomes a vehicle, while these parts become a base. So, we're going to start with the vehicle real quick. This one's pretty easy. Flip up the head. Fold these arms in. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug this piece on top like this. And I take these um, with these side pieces, and you can see they do, they do line up perfectly. So put them like that. Repeat on the other side, just like this. And then take this piece right here, and you're gonna plug it onto. And you're gonna plug it using these two front pegs here, so just like that. And there you have the uh, machine. Now, these pieces become the base, so for starters, we're going to go ahead and plug these two pieces together, become like a ramp, just like that. Now, this one's kind of confusing, well, okay, it's not really that confusing, but you want to make sure that these little pieces, make sure the silver um, paint is on the outside, because you want these three peg, these three holes right here to line up with these three pegs right, right here. So make sure you line them up like this, do the same on the other. And these two pieces, you want to make sure this little, this little silver piece right here, or the silver paint, is facing up with the um, what will become the fists of of um, Victory Leon's robot mode. So, so you're gonna plug them on top like this. Just make sure that these um, these claw bits or paws are touching each other. So, just like that. So, do the same on the other side, just like that. And take this this piece right here. I'm just gonna put it in between these two sections. And there you have the base. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so any um, any Mugen bind figure can actually fit through here. Again, in this case, this in case Victory Leon. So which you can actually do that. So yeah, pretty neat. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, now, any, like I said before, any other Mugen Bite figure could fit in there. So let me grab, um, grab another one, I, another Mugen Bite figure I own. Let's bring in Bill Giraffe. So yeah, you can do something like that. Pretty cool. Let's put him off the side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the machine slash ba and base mode. 
Okay, so next we're take a look at Victory Leon's robot mode. So, pull down the head, swing the arms in, and oh, make sure you flip up these tabs, and make sure you pull down these tabs. So, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and put this together. So, we're gonna take these, these were the back, remember these were the back legs of the animal mode, and plug them on top like that. We'll plug them underneath the legs, the Mugenroid legs, just like that. Now, if you want to, you can flip up these, um, paw these were the back paws, if you want to, but I do prefer to leave them up like this, that way it covers up this joint right here. It makes it look a bit nicer. So, yeah. All right, then take this big piece right here, move down the panel, move out the lion head, close it back up, and use these two holes. Make sure you use these two holes now, go into these two pegs right here, just like that. All right. Now we can go ahead and plug the head on. So, okay, so flip up the head and then flip these cannons up like this. And you're gonna plug them onto these um, these tabs right here. Just like that. Now for the arms, um, the ones, the hole you're gonna use are these two middle ones right here. So, so just like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and flip them for foam forward like this. Um, okay, so oh oh, I forgot one more thing. If you want to, there's actually a little um a little piece of plastic right here that lets you flip out the heels. Now I do I do tend to miss the step a lot, so make sure you fold those heels out. That way, it gives this thing more stable. So more okay, more stability, I should say. Um, so don't forget to flip the heels out for this. So now I'm gonna take this piece right here and make sure you make sure you plug it in like this. So just like that. And it holds the arms in place. So so yeah, just like that. Then I'm gonna take these big gray pieces right here. And we're gonna swap them around like this. Uh, okay. And you can see there's a hinge right here with two pegs on top. So make sure you flip these out. Do the same the other. Now I'm gonna take this piece and plug it into these two holes. Just gonna get it in there, make sure it pegs together. Yeah, this is kind of tricky. Okay, so yeah, sometimes this piece likes to plug in, sometimes it doesn't. So it's just on my figure. So do the same the other. Okay. Okay, make sure it doesn't fall off. Okay. Now we're gonna make his weapon, which is by taking these two these two wheel pieces, plug them together, and you're gonna well fold his arm completely out. And let's see, where's the peg? You're gonna take you use either one of these two pegs right here, and use this one. Take him a um, staff or a walking stick. I'm gonna say staff because it's more, of a, you know, it's a weapon. Well, so yeah, actually, people can use walking sticks as weapons. So yeah. All right. So now you have Victory Leon in robot mode. Pretty cool, I'll say. Very tall. Um, it's quite big. Um, it looks a little silly. He's got like a staff for a weapon, but eh, what can you do with that? But. Now, can you make him hold with two hands? Uh, not quite. <laughs> not even close. So, because of the head stick, because of the line head sticking out. But yeah. And you can see on my figure it tends to split a lot because how loose the um, because of how loose the uh, hip the um leg joints are. So, yeah, it's just on my figure, unfortunately. But, but yeah. But. So articulation, no head rotation. There is arm rotation, which is actually um, ratcheted. So the legs can go forward a little bit. They can go well. Okay, <laughs> that just came undone. Okay, the legs go. They, they can go back and forward a little bit. And if you want to, the legs can twist. Um, if you want to, but other than that, it's. Pretty much a brick. So, um, yeah. 
Now, may I think this is going to be the end of the video? No, because there's actually two combinations that involve Air Leon, which we'll get to right now. All right. I'm going to start with the one that's the least favorite out of the, bunch, out of the two. And this one's called Victory Base. Um, pretty much don't do anything with this guy. Um, but you, this mostly involves the base itself. So basically, you remove the centerpiece right here. And pretty much all you're going to do, you're pretty much just going to flip them up to these two pegs. Um, up like this. Again, I think, yeah, it goes like this. Okay, use these two pegs right here. And if you want to, you can put this underneath him and put Air Leon on top. There you go. This is called Victor, the Victory Base. Um, yeah, nothing that not that exciting. It's just you know, it's just a way to put you know, just just display Air Leon in Jet Mode. So yeah, and this one doesn't this one doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, this is the least favorite out of the bunch. Now we're to look at the most favorite. All right, I want to apologize that. How not getting to, you know Victory Leon's robot mode and frame because how tall he is, but I can see I got him all set up and ready to go because there's not much change you could do with you know Victory Leon other than just remove these and remove these pieces. So so basically we're combine this guy into Hyper Victory Leon. So for starters, um, actually, well we're not we're not gonna run with the right, right now, but but for starters, we're gonna we're gonna come to the legs and we're gonna take. These pieces right here, which were the back legs of Air Leon, you're gonna flip them. You're gonna use this peg right here, so just like this, and do the same on the other side, like this. All right. So now take what was the ramp section of the base and split them in half like this, and you're swinging around like this and. Make sure you plug these pieces. I'm trying to. I'm currently looking at the press photo of this. Um, I think. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. I got. I just had to look at the um, press photo. So. Okay, where's that piece? Okay, this piece. So you're gonna use this piece right here, and you're gonna plug it using this middle one, using the middle peg right here, which is this one. So plug it on the side like that. You do the same on the other. Oh, make sure you flip these pegs inside. Oh, please. And take this piece, this piece right here again, using the middle peg, like this. Okay, that's it for the legs. Um, and now we're gonna bring. Um, well, of course we're gonna go ahead and take this piece from early on. Hold these panels down. Make sure you flip up the line head, and you're plug it onto the side of the left arm of Victory of Victory Leon's robot mode. So just like that. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> um, and now we're going to come to the back here. And we're going to take Air Leon's Mugen Roid, fold the head down, fold these in, and pretty much you're going to plug it onto the front, onto the back like this. So just like that. And then we can go ahead and take what was the nose cone fuselage of Air Leon's um, machine mode. Flip it upside down and plug it onto these two um, pegs up top. So just like that. Now um, these pieces right here, these little, these were the remember these were the front legs of Air Leon's um, animal mode. You're just gonna simply plug them onto the side like this. That way it kind of looks like it's grabbing, you know, the front of Victory Leon. It's like it's holding in place. Nice little attention to detail right there. Um, okay, I'm sure I might as well fold them forward. Okay. All right, and last but not least, we're going to take these two pieces right here, the one with the wheels on them, 
And you're simply just going to plug them onto the side like this. I'm using this peg where my thumb is pointing at. So, just like that. And plug it on the side like that. And there you have Hyper Victory Leon. And, um... This one's kind of meh. I mean, I do appreciate the fact it's basically kind of like a father and son type of combination. You know, Victory Leon being the father and Air Leon being the son. I mean, it's just how I view these two. Um, so, um, yeah. Now, the one thing I don't like about this combination is the way how these great pieces are dealt with. Um, okay, just bump the camera. Um, these two pieces are here. I like the way how they're set up. I mean, they're like, they make them look like very, very huge legs. Very huge feet. Um, it would have been neat if there was a way to like plug them underneath the feet. That way it looks like, look, that way it functions as feet, like big ski legs. I mean, that would have worked fine, but oh well. Um, well, actually, I actually found an image on the internet from the internet that shows like an alternate version of this combination, which I'm not going to copy it or I'm not going to steal that, that guy's idea on that, but I'll, put a, I'll post a link to it um, in the description. So, yeah, this is pretty much Hyper Victory Leon's official look. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's meh in a way, but oh, it's not the best looking combination, but hey, at least it does its job, you know, with, you know, it does its job right, so yeah. And of course, the little issue I have with, you know, the, the leg joints being all loose. So, so yeah. So, overall, the DX Victory Leon figure is a very, very nice addition to your Mugamai collection. It's a lot of fun, and it's pretty cool we got our first deluxe scale Mugamai figure. And it's pretty cool. And it's a nice little change, in my opinion. Um, the combinations of, well, I'll say the best one is um, Hyper... Hyper Victory Leon, I mean, I mean, the Victory Base is okay. I mean, it's only great for, you know, roleplay purposes, you know, like a playset type of thing. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I got Victory Leon, I see I got Air Leon standing on um, Victory Leon. Again, father and son type of thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, this guy, on, this guy can be found on eBay, but it's going to be really, really hard to find at a cheap price. Because I've seen one from eBay that costs like 150 bucks. I'm not joking. In MIB. Mitten box. So, yeah. Now, I did find this guy without the box. And it's all complete. Only like for 30 bucks. I'm not even joking. 30 bucks. All complete. All, you know, all parts and all the stickers applied. No box. So, yeah. So, nothing broke. And nothing broken, too. Um, so, Yeah. So yeah, it's quite a steal for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I did manage to find. I did. I'm really glad I found this guy at a cheap price, like around thirty bucks, which is again not too bad for a big guy. Um, so, so yeah. So if if you find this guy for really cheap, go ahead, get him. So other otherwise, good luck. Good luck finding this guy. Um, so yeah, I do recommend picking up Vic Deluxe, the DX Victory Leon figure. So, next time, I'm going to take a look at the Juan Rikiguma figure from Machine Robo Mugenbine. So, again, Juan Rikiguma. So, yeah, that's the next review after this one. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I will catch you next time.